Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So today we're sitting on the planet Rain. We had just kind of refit our mechs last episode. Go to the barracks here real quick. Um, we were able to... Uh, sorry, let's go to the mech bay real quick. Um, we were able to uh, work a little bit on our Centurion. We were talking about putting the Thunderbolt launchers in the torso, but it didn't quite work out that way. The amount of weight it would take to put them in there would mean we'd have to drop the, um, the AC-10 um, and everything else. So I've decided to leave it for now. We're going to look for another couple of SRMs for the torso, we decided. So we're going to pull the LRM-10 out eventually and put some SRMs in here and have it as a close-range attack vehicle. And the Phoenix Hawk picked up a bunch of double heat sinks, um, which is great because now this thing is pretty much heat neutral, so we can fire all the time. And we were having heat problems with this guy before, so that's a really good thing. Centurion is uh, kind of got a little bit better heat uh, management as well, so I think we're ready for today. So we're going to go to the command center, look at the contracts, and I think we're going to handle an attack convoy mission today. Now I know it means we have to fight two lances at once, but I want to see how we do against the, uh, a bunch of guys at the same time. So we're going to take the Burden of Proof here for the Convoy attack mission. It's against the Lyran Commonwealth, but I mean we're okay for attacking Steiner at this point. Um, we're not really looking to um, get maximum rep with anybody at this point. We're just kind of making our way through, making getting as much salvage as we can, building up our lands so we can head towards the clans. So let's just negotiate this guy. And since we're doing fairly well for cash, I think we're going to crank it right up and go for full salvage on this one. We're still looking for mech parts. Um, we've got a few. We've also decided that we're not going to be um, choosing mech parts in selection now. So we'll have to just choose components when we get our salvage. And we're not going to be selling any components either. So we'll have to find another way to get cash. So in this case, we got 137. That should be enough to cover, I think, drop costs and probably repairs depending on what we're up against. But uh, that should be good. So let's accept this. Uh, once again, we don't have any new pilots, um, but that's fine. Uh, oh, wait, before we even start, I think Recoil has enough. Let me have a look at him. I think he's finally got enough. After we moved planets last episode, he gained enough experience, I think, to raise his gunnery up. He did, yes, perfect. I just want to make sure we did that first, because that's going to help out. All right, let's go back to the contracts now. Let's get this sucker done here. All right, burden of proof. Max salvage. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Now, this is the map I absolutely hate the most for intercepting convoys on. And it figures that we would get that today. But that's okay. That's all right. We'll have to deal with that. We're going to reserve, let them go first. All right, now we can move. So who we got up front here? We've got gold metal up front. Correct? Correct. So let's get him moving first so that he's not blocking everybody else. Where is everybody else, by the way? No, who's this up here? The Jenner's up front. Yep. Alright, Hickory, let's get up here. So we're going to sprint. I want to make sure she stays in the woods. She is supposed to be a rear line mech, so... So I'm hoping we can find a mech. Like, it would be nice to find a trebuchet that I can install the um, Thunderbolt and the Thermobolt that we picked up as well on. Um, only because I want to get using those. The Thermobolt's pretty cool because it uh, um, adds four turns of of 15, like, minus 15 heat to the mech that you hit, which is awesome. Speaking of awesomes, it would be great to use against an awesome to reduce the amount of heat that he can sink. So I just want to say, too, thank you for all the comments that you guys have made. I know they're very simple comments and stuff, and um, uh, one on gameplay and one on how I organized my... Uh, um, my videos and my uh, on my channel, which is great. Thank you so much for those comments, and I'm still open to plenty of comments. I like to uh, talk about uh, BattleTech and other things too, so feel free to drop them. Also, the likes are really helping out too. It's nice to see that uh, I'm getting more likes now than I was before, which is nice. All right, see what these guys are doing here. Also, too, I'm planning on um, this reserve. I'm planning on. Um, starting up a fl flashpoint campaign along the side of this one. I was able to uh, back up my um, Battletech folder before flashpoint dropped. Basically I duplicated it and then installed flashpoint and then now I just swap between the two. I go offline in Steam and um, yeah. basically just swap between the two as I uh, as I feel 
I want to play one or the other. All right, so let's get started. I don't really want the Jenner in here first, but I'm thinking that she should probably move up and engage. It's a lot of guys at once here. What do we got? Valkyrie. So we do have, I think we've got one Valkyrie piece in storage. Let's fire on the Valkyrie. 47%, not bad. Eh, no hits, figures. So the reason why I hate this map is you, if you have slow moving mechs, the vehicles just drive right past and it's so hard to catch up to them. So that's probably one of the vehicles right there and we're not even anywhere near where we need to be for this. Alright, pylon. How far can you, oh you can get way up here, right? Yeah, Phoenix Hawk, man, love this thing. Okay, let's get to a point where that guy over there can't see us, let's move up here. Going to fire straight in the Valkyrie. So the Phoenix Hawk is probably going to go after that vehicle next turn. Because it's going to take off on us. The fact that these mechs have full armor too, that's a pain in the butt. Zephyr. This guy is probably one of the guards. Alright. Love those chevrons of evasion. Look at that. Stealth armor, man. Yeah. What can I do you for? Can't do me for anything, man. You need to get up there. Okay. Full speed it is. You got it, buddy. Alright. Cold metal. Let's sprint as far as we can go. And I'm going to launch the missiles on... We've only got 80. And not a good chance to hit, so I'm not going to bother. We're going to wait till we're direct fire. Oh. What was that? And here I am saying I'm loving the uh, evasion. Doesn't matter though, really. That was the mech. That's saying it's a heavy, but I don't think so. Oh mate, that's a looks like a warhammer. It's a warhammer. Are you kidding me? We got the speed. I mean, we could just sprint this way. And hit them from up on here. It's all been in the arm. Look at that. Uh, hmm. That's interesting dilemma here. Can we see any of that? Can we see that vehicle at all? Well, I don't know. I lost my first mission with this new version of Rogue Tech, and it's kind of cheesing me off a little bit. Because I never lost any missions in the last series that I played. Uh, I wonder if we take the loss and go for parts. No, I think I'm going to do what I, what I said I was going to do. I think I'm going to move up there. And try and get ahead of the, um, the convoy. And use this hill as defense. We're going to fire on this guy while we can. Got lots of ammo. Come on up, we can target the guy. There we go. 77% for both. Nice. Two hits. Looked like an arm and a leg hit there. I was just about to say something foolish like, Oh, the Valkyrie. I really don't have to worry about him. And I, I know better than that. No better than to open my mouth like that. So what do we get here? It looks like we got a torso. And a leg hit. Okay, this guy's full armor too, man. Right here. Yikes. Okay, so let's get up here. Let's get in the woods. Um, let's sprint it. Maybe here? And shoot the Valkyrie? Let's stay turned to the side. Let's go. Firefly not, doesn't have a lot of armor, but let's fire on this guy. Not too bad. Couple of hits. Okay, here comes some vehicles. As long as as long as it's indirect missiles, I'm okay with that. So I think it's these two plus maybe these two guys at the back that are I can't take that for sure. This guy might be a part of the convoy. I'm trying to determine who's the convoy and who's not. 
So he's definitely not. So it's these four are convoy. Because the convoy won't leave the road. Okay, how much armor does this Zephyr have? A whole chunk load. Damn it. Alright, Pylon, you need to get some stability here. Stability. Um, yeah. You got took, took that in the right arm and the torso, too. So let's turn this way. Move up here. Get some stability back. Let's fire on the Valkyrie. Roger. Nah, not doing so well here. There goes that vehicle. That's why we need to sprint that way. Okay, definitely need to sprint with this guy. Let's get up into here. And I think what we'll do is we will probably... Well, it depends on what our, what our chances are, but I think we're going to go after the... Uh, Warhammer, it's the same as this guy. Should we take the Valkyrie out, maybe? This guy we won't kill, he's harder to hit, too. Let's fire in the Valkyrie, see if we can get him running away. Okay, nice. Okay, he's gonna go before us next turn. No, he won't. We get to go before him. Take that arm, torsos, I don't know. I don't want to stay and fight because that Warhammer is going to start doing a lot of damage to these PPCs. Okay, he's missing with the large laser, it's good. Here he comes. Is he sprinting? Looks like it. Oh, now we're out of here, we got to run fast now. That's crazy. 14 left in the right arm. <sighs> okay. He's overheating, though. Gotta get ahead of these vehicles. Well, we're not necessarily in a position where... If we don't kill these guys, that uh, it's gonna make that much of a difference. Which is why I was saying maybe we should look for salvage rather than trying to complete this mission. So this guy's got a fair chunk of armor on. Look at the armor on this. Like, how am I supposed to deal out that much armor? Or that much damage? This guy's not so bad. That's the hunter. And a bulldog. Well, I mean, not too bad, I guess. Let's fire on the hunter. 77% chance to hit. We might get lucky. Okay. I mean, I should have gone on the Valkyrie, but he's retreating anyway. God, I'm worried about losing that arm now. I've got some good lasers in that arm. I can't afford to lose it. Armor blow through. Internal I know, it's okay. You're moving next. Uh, that's down here. I can't follow up at all. This guy's got full armor, too. Let's just, um... If we can leave that, um... Warhammer behind. Let's try and get this guy this way. Hey, let's see what this baby can do. I need you around front. And the, uh, Phoenix Hawk will do the same. Maybe we just go for the Warhammer and try and bring him down. I don't know though. Valkyrie might be the better choice if we're going to go just for salvage. I'm just worried about these stupid PPCs, man. Damn. So that's probably a striker. Distance fire, not too bad. A general usually rarely ever takes damage, but... Good to go. Yeah, you need to sprint the hell out of there, man. 
Let's get way up here. On the move. Full speed. See if we can get around in front of this convoy. And I'll try and delay them with the Centurion. We should be able to target that guy next turn. That Warhammer is going to go so soon too. So do I... I think maybe... Let's take a turn... And shoot at... That's the Bulldog. Not getting much evasion here. Don't have enough for Vigilance. 37%. Let's um, turn more of our left side to these guys since our right side has got the uh, AC-10. We don't want to lose that. So let's fire on the Valkyrie. Okay, some nice hits. Right torso destroyed. Okay. Not bad comes that Zephyr back again. Alright, you're not the one I'm worried about. It's that Warhammer. Although the Warhammers were notorious for overheating, so I'm, if it's just a regular stock Warhammer, which I think it is, it's I don't really have to worry about it too much. I mean, now that I say that, you could fire both PPCs still and stay in the red zone, but I don't know. Almost makes you want, wish you had a flamethrower or a uh, fire starter here. Okay, he's only going to fire one this time. Still going to be overheating probably. If he overheats and shuts down, I'm going for headshots. Alright, so let's... Can we get recoil down on the eyes on this guy? Not from anywhere up here. So we're going to have to wait for them to move for that to work. So let's wait on recoil then. And let's get the Jenner going. Um, can we... Well, we can target from here. But we're in the open. Not in the forest. But I think if we're going to do this, we got to take the chance. So let's do this. That's that hunter we hit before. We hit both sides. Let's fire on him again. 82% chance. Nice. Okay, there's one. Finally, some good news. Valkyrie coming forward. I think he's a walking stick now, isn't he? Yeah, he's a walking stick, but it doesn't mean he can't punch us or anything. So recall, we're going to reserve because I want to use him to come around the corner on this other guy. He need that. This other guy needs to move up a bit more, though. Okay, moving to indirect fire range. That's perfect. The Jenner, even though it's got you know, those two um, Thunderbolt missile launchers on it. It does still have some okay armor. Just if we get some, several turns of sustained fire, like from a Warhammer or something like that, he's pretty much toast, so. As you can see with the um, the Phoenix Hawk that we have, it's got the most armor out of anybody, and it's taken the most damage, so. Let's move... Um, how far can Pylon go? You can come right around the corner here. can't get to a point where we can... Nope. So let's move Cold Metal next then. Um, we're gonna move... I don't know if it's just any, if it's just me or if anybody else is experiencing this. I'm having a harder time controlling the mouse on this version of Rogue Tech for some reason. I don't know if it's just laggy or what it is, but uh, get these weird lag spikes. Okay, what's this guy's chance to hit here? Pretty low on him. He's out of range for the Warhammer. Hmm. What if we just walk it back here? That's indirect fire only. A little better chance. We're just going to walk it back. Get some stability back. We're going to fire on the Valkyrie again. See if we can take him down. Yeah, we can't keep getting luck with the, uh, lucky with the uh, autocannon. Okay, there's a Vedette. Vedette. AC5 and machine guns, but how much armor does he have? We haven't seen this guy yet. So he's still got pretty good armor on the sides and the front and everything, so... Okay, recoil first. Let's get down here. Here, probably. 
Hawk on. We'll put the Phoenix Hawk on the inside here just to keep the, him sheltered a little bit more. I'm gonna fire everything on the Vedette. Giving him everything I've got. Wow. I should have hit with at least more than one. That was painful to watch. Okay, Zephyr closing in. He's within stepping range now, but I don't want to do that while that Warhammer is still standing back there. So, Pylon coming down here. Going to sprint it down to here. And we're going to turn our left side pretty much to them. And we're going to fire everything. Not expecting for much here. Oh, two hits, three hits. Nice. Well, certainly better than recoil. Comes that bulldog. Okay, he's got direct fire, damn. Oh, Thunderbolt 10 crit. That hit something important. It sure did. Okay, missed with the PPC, that's good. Good, good, good. Let's see what that walking stick does next turn. See, he's... Oh, he shut down. Okay, now we're gonna go for headshots. Gonna go for headshots. Um... I know you are. Question is, can you get where I need you to be? It's running a risk. Let's go for it. And we're gonna do oh we don't need to do an offensive push. Let's just attack this guy straight out. Gonna go for a headshot, I think. See if he can he's got full armor in the head, right? Yeah. All weapons, fire. Where'd we get him? Did we get another torso hit? We got two CT hits, it looks like. Alright. Now I gotta remember what how much we got left in the arm here? Eleven. Okay, so recoil. Um, that guy can't do much. So um, let's get. Can we step? What do we got for stepping damage? Fifteen, really, eh? Uh, I'm gonna go point blank on this guy. Now we mostly hit the vedette's front, right? We did. So going there is gonna be useless. Let's get here. That's going to give us really good chances to hit. Let's unload on this guy. Let's hope we get. Let's hope we get lucky. Okay, we hit with everything, I think, but not enough. Okay, here comes the walking bullet. And the striker. I think it's a, probably an LRM10 SRM4 or SRM2, something like that. SRM6, LRM10. Okay, so this guy's got... He's almost gone on the one side. Okay, good. So, Pylon, let's get you back here. Gonna just reveal that one side. Get our stability back. Fire straight on this guy's side. Copy that. Come on, come on. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Really? Well, that was just painful. Minimal damage. Minimal damage. Okay, so oh, now how much armor does this guy have? 95 on the back, 190 on the turret. I mean, I could... We could just try and squash him from the back. 60% chance to hit. I don't know. The walking bullet's making its way to us. We pull back to here. Pretty good chances on this guy, so let's do that. Gonna walk it back. And let's try for... How much is the right torso got left here? 75. Uh, I don't know. 45 for the CT. We can't really kill him, even if we hit him with everything. 
Let's go for a headshot. If we hit the CT, we hit the CT, but let's fire everything. Okay, that's pretty good. Feel when you get to start up this turn. Zephyr's backing off, which is nice. But that Warhammer is going to cool down too, which isn't good. Damn it. We mostly got the CT on him. Still don't have enough to kill him though. A few points, not much. Okay, Hickory, you're out of there. Let's get back here. It's mostly the left arm. We keep our right side turned. I know we're revealing the back over there, so that's probably not a good idea. We can soften up this other guy. Let's do it. If we're going to make this mission work, we've got to finish these guys up. So let's target this guy. I'm going to overheat, so let's turn off the one Thunderbolt. I have the advantage. Wow. It's the first time I've actually had that where it's the th that uh, mech's going to overheat. But I guess it's because the, uh, the uh, Thunderbolt launcher took a crit. Okay, a few Plinkies. The 20 heat doesn't help, though. All right, Recoil, let's finish up this guy and let's make sure we kill him moving back here firing on the vedette firing everything that should be it okay second vehicle down now our evac point is back here somewhere or it's over here i think don't know if we're going to be able to hang out but that warhammer is taking substantial damage we might be able to stay and fight him as long as my Centurion stays intact, pretty much. Here comes that Striker. Trying for a back shot with little LRMs at a distance. What's the armor in this guy again? 120, 120, 90. Ah, not bad. What's that? They got reinforcements? Oh my god. This is a one skull mission, guys. Um, wow. Waiting for orders. Okay, we can't turn. Hmm, we can't turn our right side or our CT because the CT's been hit already. How much damage can we do if we step on this guy? 38, double that, probably. This is the right side facing the enemy. So if we come at it from the front, probably, like this. Or like this, I think. Probably is the best way to do this. So let's go all out. All in with a squash attack. 38 damage, probably going to be up around 90-something. 77, not bad. My Centurion can't fight all these guys at once, though. So I think we will make our way out of here. Although their reinforcements are, like, right in the way of our escape route. Okay, cold metal. I could vigilance this, but I think I want to save that just in case. And we want to target the, um... Very wary of doing this. For good reason. Uh, if they have more reinforcements back there and they can see me, I'll be in a lot of trouble. Uh... Gonna need a lot of evasion. So let's move over here. I know it's probably not the best move. I'm gonna fire on the Warhammer. So what are we at now? 
54 in the CT, not bad. Ah, getting lucky. Here he comes. I think he got too close to us. Okay, he overrided his shutdown again. Maybe if we keep goading him to shooting us, we can get another good shot on him. Alright, so let's go with Hickory first. I want to get her off of this hill. Um, but I want to get you down into... I think our two mechs down there can handle those guys. Let's get her down... Maybe into here? What side is this? The left side that's damaged. So we're going to turn more this way. And we're going to unload on this guy. Both Thunderbolts firing away. Okay, that would look like a leg and an arm hit, but I, I don't know. I can't confirm that. Yeah, I know they've begun to arrive at their destination. Not much I can do about right, that right now, buddy. Okay, so that was... Arm and torso, I think. All right. I keep paying more attention to that guy than what I should be doing over here. So this guy has got mostly side damage. Let's get recoil back here. Right up beside him. Only walking this time. Firing everything. That should do it. Okay. Now that, guy, that bulldog's got two turns before he gets here. I got a feeling I lose my Phoenix Hawk's arm too. I'm kind of worried about that. Walking bullet. Striker. I don't know how long it's going to take for these reinforcements to catch up to. There's no way we can take them on. Kind of leaving the Centurion over there because I want those guys just worrying about the Centurion. Yeah, see here they come. That's a good distance away. There might only be a couple mechs there. Last time I played a one skull mission with uh, reinforcements, there was a whole lot more than one. Alright, so let's turn our left side to... Th we need more evasion than that, though. We'll get a little bit more going here, I think. going to turn. Got to get best shots we can on this guy, so we're going to fire everything. 120 armor on the front. Ugh, really? A crappy medium laser hit too. So that war armor's moved far enough forward now that we can really focus on it. As long as those vehicles keep moving backwards. Okay. So we're going to start rotating now to the left with the Centurion. We're going to keep moving this way. Um, I am going to sprint this time. I want to get out of there those guys weigh as much as I can and we're gonna turn I can't really turn my left side unfortunately but I'm gonna turn like this I know we could lose the AC this way but I, I don't want them to have a chance to hit the CT so we're gonna fire everything on the Warhammer everything that we can see the medium laser off no AC what, what, we, what can we leave off here these two really SRMs do more damage though per hit it's 40 this is 40, but there's less missiles. This gives us a better chance to hit. So I think we go this way. Far away. Damn. Really needed that to hit. We're almost out of missiles anyway for the LRM. Okay, he's hitting the side we want him to hit. So he's still got a couple more turns even. Come on, man. Fire more weapons. Just don't hit. Okay, shut down. Shut down. Do me a solid and shut down. There we go. Okay, we can punish this guy now. Alright, Hickory. Let's get to a point where you're relatively safe. Which really isn't that many places, is it? Um, maybe here. Being in the woods... 
What side is damaged left? We're going to turn the right then. Like this. Cool down a little bit by walking. Yeah, we can only fire one now. We want to maximize salvage. It's really hitting this guy's head, but... Let's try for a headshot, okay? Let's just do that. Cool off a little bit. Gonna fire. Bet you that was a leg hit. Yep. Okay, the walking stick is running away. Alright, recoil. Let's get right up on this guy. Alright, now we want to turn this way as much as we can. Because he's going to come around us and try and shoot us in the back, probably. Alright, we're finally starting to overheat. We're going to leave one small laser off. Nice, that's a good start. So he goes on turn two. So I think we're going to reserve. Yeah, they're finally starting to realize that they are they gave away their uh, convoy. No idea what this guy is. Light mech of some kind. If I had to take a guess, one of these guys is probably one of those commando... I think it's commando 1C or something with the autocannon 2. Looks like there's only two of them though. No, there's another one over there somewhere. Could be a vehicle too. Alright, let's move uh, cold metal first. And we're going to drop back this way. Like so. Going to fire on this guy. And we're going to go for a head hit. And what can we hit with this? Hopefully we got a shot on his head. And no head hit. Got his torso though. All right, we're just gonna have to CT this guy, I guess, if we're gonna kill him. Yeah, they're fi they're finally coming, <laughs> coming to help out. A little late, guys. A little late. Okay, I'm gonna reserve pylon. He's in a good spot right now. I don't necessarily want to get that arm lost. So, did they reserve? Okay, he's powering up. Is he not moving? I can't take much more of this. You have to, man. If we're gonna win, you have to keep taking those shots, buddy. Okay, let's get around this side. We need the evasion. I'm gonna fire on this guy with everything. Nice heat levels. Okay, that's a little better. Getting the armor plinked away here. Side's almost gone, so we can finish this guy up and we can get out of here. That's what we're going to do. We're going to retreat back, target the Warhammer. Aye, aye. And we're going to get out of here. Alright, so let's do this first. Roger. Both Thunderbolts firing away. Nice, two hits. Heat sinks destroyed. Scored a critical hit. It's gonna overheat real fast. Okay, so recoil is gonna back up, use this mountain as cover, and fire straight on this. Well, actually, we should probably fire on the side of this guy. All right, so recoil. Ready for orders. Let's get you back here, buddy. On my way. Firing on this guy's side. Can we fire everything? No, we're just gonna fire what we have. Oh, almost though. I see destroyed. You should be dead. Found yep. Nice. Okay, we're out of here. Where's our, our evac point? That's not. Is that our evac point? Where's our evac point? Do we have to destroy the reinforcements? That can't be our evac point. Recon the convoy's route. Are you serious? We have to go all the way back over there to recon, recon it? Are you kidding me? 
Are you serious? They, they need to fix that because that's just, uh, yeah, that's a whole lot of no. All right, firing everything on this guy. Two crits to the fusion core. If I know my max, this guy's going to be roasting in a minute. Zephyr trying to come back to help. So pylon, um, nothing we can do down here. Oh, we can actually fire on that guy. Let's do that. I copy. Wasp. Okay. Let's fire everything on this guy. Really bad chances to hit. Let's leave the one. Why is this one medium laser all of a sudden have a better chance, but these guys don't? Just fire one medium laser. See if we can distract him and get him to come down here. Now, are these guys full armor? They are. <sighs> really? So why? I guess they must have reserved. Somehow we have to recon before we can leave. It's like we're already here and we already blew up the convoy. Why do we have to recon? Damn it. Okay, once we kill this Warhammer, we're, we're, we're going to withdraw because this is dumb. Actually, if we can get the recon on the route, then we can just get out of here. All right, Hickory. Bye. Yeah, not standing by. We're going to kill this guy. Mm. Just gonna back up here. Can we use both? We can. I'm gonna fire both. Unsettled. You should be more than unsettled. Here comes that Valkyrie. It'd be nice to get the Valkyrie point uh, parts. So let's move here. All on air. Gonna fire on this guy and distract him. Taking the shot. Okay. Yeah, they got a whole nother lance. They got a whole nother lance. So there's no way we're scouting this point. We're out of here. Well, we can take these guys out. Now, we had 3 or 13 salvage. We should be able to at least get 2 salvage if we bail out of here. Because we did kill the convoy. I just really hate the fact that we have to scout the convoy's route. It's like completely out of the way too, right? Uh, let's flip sides. And we'll unload on this guy with everything if we can. Out of LRM 10 ammo. Oh, what a time to miss with that. We did hit a CT though. Oh, yes. He's just taking a little bit of a dirt nap. Okay, good. So let's see if we can get up here with Pylon 2. That wasp bugged out, didn't he? Let's get around up here. Unfortunately, if that Valkyrie takes off next turn, then uh, we're bailing out. Although I could do a, a Phoenix Hawk, Hawk dash and try and get that, but there's no real point. Uh, Hickory... Actually, do you need to move? You do. Let's kill the stick. Uh, what side we want turned? Right side. Let's do that. On my way. Kill the stick. Okay, we're going to fire the one with 89% chance. Roger. 
There goes his arm. Got past the armor. Unsteady, okay. Yeah, we're letting him go. We're going to bail. Okay, we're done. So that was not a bad mission overall. Um, I can't afford to take on these rest of these guys. I mean, I probably could do it and I could probably win. But not without potentially losing a mech and losing some vital equipment. But at this point, uh, it's not really worth it. So I'm just going to withdraw. We'll call that one a draw. The commander orders a retreat. All right. Destroy the convoy and escape. Fail. How's that a failure? I guess because we didn't scout the area. That's ridiculous. Ugh. All right, we take what we get out of that anyway. We got. I know we have a component damaged in the uh, gen area. Yeah, Thunderbolt. We got to fix that. But that's about it. We didn't really lose anything. Other than the repair costs, of course. But now we. Oh, we only got one piece. So I'm thinking it's. It's. Um, we can't take Warhammer parts, unfortunately. But this AC5 might be nice. Damage 50. Heat 8. Now it's got two recoil. This would be nice to replace the AC-10 with, at which point I would be able to probably th throw in the Thermobolt. That's a possibility. Vehicle Flamer, Internal Combustion, Cores, Artemis System. See, that's even nice too. But there's nowhere we can use that right now, so I think probably the better option is the uh, AC-5 Plus right now. Damage will be going down from 60 to 50, but then we'll be able to increase the damage by putting the big weapon in the uh, torso. So let's do that. So one Warhammer part, couple machine guns, internal combustion engine. Oh, we got the Artemis system. <laughs> okay, so not bad overall. All right, a bunch of stuff going on. 45,000. Yeah. Not much we can really do about that. Dang it. Well, that was a one skull mission. We're facing three lances. So now you know why I'm doing a lot of base capture missions to start with. Ambush convoys are just really hard. We're out for 19 days. Let's see if there's a better way to manage this task here. There is, I think, if we do this and this. So we should be back in 15 days. But it doesn't matter because this guy's out for 19. Actually, it'll be less than 15, I think, once it's done. It should be 10 days, I think, or 12 days. When's our financial report? In 11 days, it won't matter. All right, so we're gonna hang out in this system. If we go to contracts, there's another contract in here I wanna pull off before we leave the system, I think. Um, there's the uh, eviction destroy base mission. Um, no more ambushing convoys for us at the moment. Uh, there's also stealing is a form of flattery, taking a base, so we could do that one too. It's a little better pay, a little better um, uh, salvage than the other missions, but uh, evictions pretty good. A um, lot less uh, cash, but uh, we can probably do this one next time. So I am going to repair these mechs, and I think before we leave today, I'm going to refit the Centurion. Um, I want to see what that guy's going to look like. So let's pause this real quick. Let's go back to mech bays. All right, so let's have a look at the Centurion. Let's see what we can jam in this guy now. So if we refit this guy. See, if we'd, I mean, if we'd st we, we hung around, we would have lost a lot of stuff that we could have really, like, needed. All right, we have got, got some good gear now. I don't want to lose any of it. So let's lose the AC-10 uh, out of there. And let's put in the AC-5 to start. Let's drop it in here. And so already our heat is uh, heat sinking has gone up a bit because this was 12, I think, right? Yeah, 12 heat. And this one is only 8, which is good. And we've gained some tons. We've gained 4 tons now. Um, we need to pull out the LRM ammo and the LRM 10. Move the SRM ammo over here. We're going to need AC5 ammo. Actually, can we get... I wonder if there's, we can get AC5 per precision ammo in the store. What do we got to purchase here, too? Perfect rifles, anything good? 
And we can't really afford any of this stuff anyway. Ex ah, an exchanger would be nice. Hopefully we'll be getting that soon enough. Oh my god. Really? Ah, uh, probably heatsink kit. For uh, an engine, that would be nice. 5.7 million. I thought we could actually use that. Um, double heat sinks. Yeah, not, not, not much we can use. So, AC5 ammo, half load, nope. Okay. Alright, so we just dropped the regular AC5 ammo in the leg. And we've got 9 tons left. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, if we go to, uh, sorry, back to weapons, we go to ballistic. I think the thermal bolt and the thunderbolt are both 9 tons. They are. So the question is, which one do we want? The bigger pinpoint damage? Or do we want to be able to overheat people? I'm wondering if this might be better. It would just mean that we would stand back and fire. Maybe that SRM-4 is not the right weapon to put in there then. If we do that, we could put an LRM-5. But then, no, the damage is way better with that. Uh, this is a nice... I'm going to go with the Thunderbolt uh, to start. Oh, I need one additional free slot. Really? Really? I can't, I can't go this route then. But what's the heat? Well, I don't have any extra heat sinks either. I need to keep all the heat sinks I have. I have to pull out the cooling pod. What's our heat at right now? Okay, we'd have like, what, 9 heat to play with? How much does this generate? 15 heat. So if we pull out the heat sink cooling pod and put in the thermobolt. Yeah. Don't know. Or, better idea even, let's put the thermal bolts back for a second and let's put our heat sink cooling pod back in and then let's go to equipment and see what I've got here. Uh, lower arm, here we go. We're going to pull up the hand, we're going to put the lower arm in. That'll save one slot right away. Now we can put it in. Thermal bolt. Nah, I'm going to go, for, I'm going for damage. Let's put the thunderbolt in. Let's go for damage. Requires AC 10 ammo, I believe. Yep, and two tons of that. It's probably more than enough. We've been hanging in for like just a little over eight rounds a lot of the time. So, because I ran out of ammo last time and a few other times, so I'm thinking that having the extra ton would be de definitely be worth it. You know what I might do though? Let's go to let's let me see if they've got half loads of. Um, ammo because I don't think we need the full oops I want to go ballistic here don't need the full ton we, we do have half loads of AC 10 ammo so we're gonna buy one of those New and we'll save half a ton that way let's take it out of this leg uh, go to weapons ballistic AC 10 half load drop it in here and now we'll have half a ton for armor which I'm thinking is probably a good idea at this point. So let's add, um, let's go a little round. Let's go around here a little bit and just add a little bit to every location if we can. There and there, a couple points to the front. Forty on each points in the back here, and then back center. Um, and CT, I think, something like that. That'll help a little bit. Eleven days, fifteen grand. Let's confirm this. We're into the next uh, financial statement anyway, so it won't matter. And yeah, that w that was actually worked out really well. I'm kind of glad we picked up that, that AC5 now. Okay, so 195,000, not very much at all. Let's accept this. And when we come back next time, we are going to take on that attack base mission. Uh, try and make some good cash, get some good salvage. Um, let's grant short leave the pylon. He gains athletic and some high spirits. That's good. We're going to need that for the next battle. And yeah, so if you liked the video, please drop a like. And feel free to subscribe and comment. I'm always open to comments. Um, I really like hearing from everybody. 
And until next time, I'll see you all later.